Okay, let's take a look at R.A. Dickey, but we're going to look at him from an, uh, an effective velocity standpoint or an EV standpoint. This first pitch is at 80 miles an hour of real speed. It stays at the top of the strike zone, middle up, at 80 real, real miles per hour. But the effect is going to be somewhere around 82 from an EV perspective. So in, in essence, it gains some velocity. And if you notice, he's, he's definitely late on this, hitting it down the third base line and foul. And let's take a look at the contact time. It's about, roughly, if we look up in the upper right-hand corner, about .500 seconds. And that's roughly about 77 miles an hour. He's, it's somewhere between 77 and 78. So he's hitting this 82 reactionary speed at a speed that makes him late. So he's prepared to hit it at 77, but yet he needed to hit it um, a couple of clicks earlier in order to be 100% on time. So that's how EV works. Is it it the the pitch gets there different than than the hitter's perception of that speed. So now here's a one mile an hour differential, and this one is going to sink down to the down and in location. So the real speed 79, the EV speed is 79 because this one happens to be on that diagonal that we know runs through the strike zone from down and in to up and away. So anything on this side is gaining speed, anything on this side is losing speed, but anything on the line, whether it's middle, up and away, or down and in, any one of those is going to be whatever the radar gun says it is. So as we see this one go to down and in, it really is going to be at about 79. And I'm, I'm going to refer to that first type as a fastball type when it stays at the top of the zone. And then this knuckleball is more like a slider, so it's going to move into the lefty, away from the righty. And he's going to use it all kinds of ways. He's going to use it kind of up and in, on the hands, middle in, like this one is, um, to down and in, anywhere in that general area. And it's going to act a lot like a slider would from a righty pitcher. And then he throws this type, which I'm just going to refer to as a change-up type. And it starts in the middle, middle up, and then it works its way off the plate to the outside. So the real speed of 75 is really more like 73. So even though in these three pitches we only have a 5 mile an hour differential in real speed between the fastball at the top and the change up away and the slider down and in, all three of those pitches are acting very different. So now let's take a look at the fastball type compared to the slider type in real time. In other words, we're going to overlap them, overlay them, and see what it looks like. If, if you um, start this again, if you look at the clock in the upper right hand corner, that'll give us an idea where this ball is in space. If we take it all the way to the point of contact, we're at 0 .50 seconds. So there, that's the point of contact. So halfway is about 0 .2, 0 .25 seconds in his case. And at 0 .25 seconds, these are right on top of each other. So there's literally no way to tell the difference at this point as to which one of these pitches this is. So is it going to stay at the top at the max speed, or is it going to drop to the bottom at a different speed? So he's early to one and late to the other, even though there's only a one mile an hour differential. So let's take a look now at the fastball type with the changeup type and see what happens. Once again, the, the visual is really close to being right on top of each other until beyond that halfway point. This one's well beyond the halfway point. In fact, I'm not even sure it ever comes out of that, that tunnel until it's way too late. Now let's take a look at the slider type along with the changeup type. And we'll see the same type of tunneling going on. Only now these are closer in speed a little bit. We have 79 and 73, so there's still that magic 
six mile an hour differential which helps to keep hitters off balance but we have this super strong visual and one of them goes to one side of the plate and the other goes to the other side of the plate very very strong and very difficult to see the difference so now after a pretty well fought battle he, he fouled off several pitches then he pulls this out of the bag and takes even more speed off in order to get all the way down to 63 which because it's down and away is going to is going to be somewhere around 60 effective velocity so let's look at that one on top of this fastball type not exactly on top of each other but they're both heading up and they're both within a ball width of each other and then at that point they actually come together so there's some deception there even though it's not perfect but the speed differential is so great that it's really really difficult to deal with that when the visual is that strong so fastball type at the top 83 84 miles an hour slider type inside used all kinds of different ways in off the plate down and in in the strike zone and out of the strike zone and then a changeup type on the outside part of the plate so realistically he's working off of a really sound visual tunnel as well as the the EV triangle which allows him to go to both sides of the plate using only about a five mile an hour differential so one last point on this and that is uh, a lot a lot of people are under the impression that a knuckleball just kinda goes wherever it, it goes and there's some truth to that I, I don't I think he has control over the fact that that one's gonna stay at the top of the zone and I think it's gonna move back and forth and it'll drift out over the plate sometimes which I think is not where exactly where he wants it I think he wants to keep it middle up to up and in and then this this one is gonna move a little bit sometimes um, it's gonna move out of the zone when he wants it in the zone and sometimes it's gonna move in the zone when he'd rather it be over here but in general um, what I'm saying is I think he has control over that I think he can make it go to this side of the plate away as in this changeup, I think this is very purposeful. And I think this one is very purposeful. And I think this one's very purposeful. So he creates this triangle and has the ability to make the knuckleball go in each direction at will to some degree. So yes, there's play. Yes, there's play. Yes, there's play in all of these. So it's very hard to control it completely. But in general, he's trying to go to a general area, I think, at a general speed. And that and when that's good, he's very, very good.